to show you the techniques and the fun that you can have in working with pen, wash and watercolour. I'm also going to show you some of the pens that I use that are available and mainly to show you the different approaches that you can have such as waterproof pens, water soluble and dip pens. I'm using my water soluble brown pen and I'd like to work into one area of the picture now, if I was to start drawing around everything, I feel that would become too bitty and fragmented. But my main reason for wanting to add ink here is that I can start pulling together the main section of this. For example, down this main area. Just pulling the whole thing together and emphasising some of the structures, even if it's brickwork or little ornamental sections of a building. Great for this. Remember this is a, a soluble pen which is also going to be able to be softened so that I don't end up with too hard an edge. So my ink work is really giving me the facility to build up the important section of the painting. For instance here I'd like to just build up a little bit more shading, tonal darkness under the tree. You see how I'm keeping one shape leading from the other to bring the eye through and down into the main doorway. I would almost allow myself what I call a five minute fiddle on this. If I've done the painting maybe in 10 or 20 minutes, then I allow myself, whether it's going to be with ink or with paint, I allow myself that five minutes. I decide if it's going to be ink, which area I'm going to build up the structure in and then keep to that so that there isn't too much going on. Let's just add a little bit of water to that now and diffuse some of those lines. Sometimes like with the cartridge paper, if this is a, a fresh watercolour that's been recently painted, you may find that the ink sinks into the damp paper and you don't get quite as much of a wash. I'm not really looking for a wash so much as just softening the line. I've now got the hint of the tiles in the roof up there without it being too fussy and that lovely pinky orange wash that's coming from the ink is actually rather nice. It's also worth mentioning that there is a difference between wet water and damp water. If I was wetting this brush a lot, then I would be diluting the ink. But in fact, that alone has got too much water in it. If I just take the excess moisture off with a tissue, then all I do is I dampen the line and it gives me that little solid area that I'm looking for just to pull that together. Again, if I pull that round there, that gives me a little bit more warmth coming through in the doorway, down the stairs and across. If you can compare that to the original, you'll see that it just helped to pull it together a little and take your eye to the important part.